Well, if you thought that getting down on one knee to offer Jaden Alexis an engagement ring would be enough to keep Blueface away from Krishan Rock, you were wrong. And then I was scared of Blue because... I know, and why did you have six? six? It wasn't that, it was just like... You just can't like, Krishan, I said, I'm still bleeding. I said, you want bloody blue? Like on yep, Rock is out here once again spilling to Jason Lee about her very, very recent hookups with Blue. And she revealed that they were in bed together just a few weeks after she'd given birth to their son. But Blue, on the other hand, is like, uh uh, Rock is delulu. She has been pulling up on Jaden, she's been stalking me and following me, and wants another baby with me. The drama is next level nasty, y'all, because more and more shocking revelations are coming up. More name calling, more threats, like Krishan literally threatened Jaden. So who is the problem here really? Is it Blue or is it Rock? Now wasn't Krishan the same person who didn't allow Blue into her delivery room because she was done with him? So what was she doing hooking up with Blue six weeks after giving birth? Girl, this is so exhausting at this point. And trust me, suggesting that she may have slept with Blue isn't even the worst part because apparently they even hooked up on the same night that Blueface and his fiance Jaden Alexis did an interview with Jason Lee. Uh, best believe that Lee had his jaw on the floor just like the rest of us and when he reacted to Rock's revelation with a shocked look he asked whether they used protection to which Krishan responded huh at first but when Lee repeated the question she said no. Lee then asked a more explicit question to confirm that Blueface did not pull out and then asked what Krishan would do if she ended up pregnant again. Remember, Rock already suggested that she could be pregnant with baby number two. So does that sort of confirm the allegation that Blue could be the baby daddy of baby number two? I always knew I wanted to be a mom. I always knew I wanted to have two kids. So one down, one on the way, and how was the last ten to go? Honey, just when I thought Rock had said it all, she went ahead and said that Blue tried to get with her after his engagement to Jaden Alexis. Rock also said that when they were openly together, she realized that she wasn't necessarily in a healthy relationship, and outside of calling the union toxic, Rock said Blue wanted a slave. We was in love. It was just more like I couldn't really give him what he wanted. He wanted a slave. Krishan also said that she would have been loyal to Blueface if he wasn't unfaithful and revealed she never got cheated on until she got with Blue. Rock also explained that while with Blueface, she endured so much mistreatment at his hands, some of which was caught on camera and shared with the public. So despite covering her body in tattoos of her boyfriend and being as loyal as one could be, Rock also claimed Blue not only put his hands on her, but she accused him of also taking her money from bookings and other engagements. Then while speaking on being allegedly pimped, Rock said she didn't realize it for a long time. But in the end, she claimed Blueface has taken more than two million in cash from her. But even after saying all these things about Blueface, can you believe that they slept together weeks after she gave birth to their son? Honestly, at this point, I'm also inclined to believe that she's the problem. Cause why does she keep going back? Well, well, you know what? Blueface is not having any of what Krishan has to offer. And if you ask him, Krishan is obsessed with him. He was like, I've never been inside her house till this day. Show us a pic or video, something other than that bogus setup phone call. Speaking of that phone call, in case you missed it, Rock leaked a phone call with Blue where she tells Blue that she still loves him and wants to be with him. But Blue does not believe her and tells Rock that he doesn't mess with her and that he wants her to stop acting acting weird. But according to Blue, the phone call may not be as recent as she claimed and was from September when he went to Maryland to see his newborn son. In fact, he also responded to a lot of things, saying, A lie will always go further than the truth. It's more exciting. You openly admit to playing somebody to get to where you want to be, but somehow you are the victim that got played when you got to where you wanted to be makes zero sense. That's a hell of a contradiction. In follow-up posts, 
costs, he continued, that's like me coming to rob you, but you end up robbing me. And I call the police and say, it's been a robbery. The way I see it, all parties involved were adults, fully aware of their actions and accepting of what's happening. Nobody denied, knowingly and willingly participating after all the train of events. So acting dumb, playing dumb, victim survivor sounds dumb when it's all said and done. Oh, he didn't end there, cause Blue also addressed being in Miami with Rock and said that Krishan followed him to Miami, like an obsessive stalker, and booked a room at the same hotel where he was staying since she knew that he always stays at Fountain Blue. According to Blue, after Krishan found out that he was at a party, she got the section next to his and tried to stand next to him. But when he refused, she started crying and ran to the bathroom and gave away her pendant. Even Krishan's new boo, Lil Mabu, wasn't spared in the rent and in a different post, Blue name dropped Lil Mabu saying, make sure y'all add Lil Mabu career to my resume. Why is your girl texting me every day, bro? What's she waiting on? Shambles. He actually posted screenshots of a conversation he had with Krishan where she appeared to be saying that she is still waiting for Blue. And guess what? Blue also insinuated that Krishan wanted to have another baby with him when he wrote, complaining about being a single parent while wanting another child with an alleged same person as your first child has to be a sign of mental illness. At this point, I don't even know who's telling the truth because Krishan also claimed that contrary to what Blue said, he is the one who has been calling her. In fact, other than the tea she spilled in the interview, Krishan also recently revealed that Blueface had gone through her phone and selectively deleted items including a spicy video they had recorded together and that he keeps calling her crying about Mabu. Well, we may not be sure who initiated the phone calls, but one thing that's coming out pretty clear is that they have been together since Krishan gave birth. Which leaves us with the question, so what about Jaden? Unsurprisingly, Rock believes that Blueface's proposal to Jaden Alexis was a publicity stunt, and she even went on Instagram Live to express her doubts about the proposal, which she believes was staged. People be trolling, right? And I don't troll for real. I just got receipts and I be telling the truth. So, and then I'm ready to say something else, but it's no need to say that. Y'all already know. Come on now. If you know I ain't responding, it's because. That's the crazy. That's just. I, I think, honestly, can I be honest? I think that whole thing was probably a. Um, Trust Blueface to address Krishan's claims, saying that the engagement was a publicity stunt. And he said that ever since he got engaged, his exes, aka Krishan, have been in shambles. And coupled that up with, Jaden is the only female I would ever get on one knee for. This ain't no publicity stunt. TF, I'ma marry somebody for clout for. That don't make no sense. Unsurprisingly, the internet is divided, with some people saying that Krishan is the one obsessed with Blue. Like this person who wrote, girl, you really obsessed with that man. Why you care if it's a stunt or not? Y'all need to pack up and get off the internet. I'm tired of y'all now. And another person said, this girl really thinks she's somebody to get clout off of? Outside the toxic folks in the black community, nobody knows who she is like that. This is all wishful thinking and that man is done with her. Okay, if you consider that there are reports that Krishan pulled up on Jaden and also publicly said that she could whoop Jaden's behind, I see how some people think that she is actually a stalker and the one who refuses to let go. On the other hand, Team Rock is claiming that Blue is the one who has been reaching out to Rock. And just like Rock said, that engagement to Jaden was just a publicity stunt. As one pointed out, she doesn't want Blueface. She wants to keep her money. It is highly probable that she's right. She's dealing with Blueface. There's no telling what he will do for clout and money. He posted a pic of his son's private area to get at her. It's 2023. Perverts will take that and run. But in your opinion, who really is the problem between Krishan and Blueface? What do you think of Krishan Rock threatening to pull up on Jade and Alexis? How about Blueface claiming that her receipts don't prove anything? One of these people is clearly Delulu. But let me know who you think it is in the comments section below.